Let's get it indeed. Shine, he'll be bringing through a little bit of utility for his team. Those flashes, a smoke, and it looks like it's just going to be the good old B hit on the pistol round. G2 put in a couple plays over there themselves. They've got Amanek and uh, Hunter in position. Amanek, one of the only two French plays left on this uh, G2 side now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still always thought it was weird yeah. to remove Kenny S from this lineup, to be honest with you, but oh. they're, they're doing fine without him, I guess. And uh, right into the pistol round, Dan. Amanek, oh. the, uh, the Frenchman, doing it all. Getting three kills for himself, closing this round up and pretty much suturing its shot as Bob XD. XD doesn't get anything done. No? He's, uh, he's out of the server, he's out of the round, and uh, G2 pick up a pretty convincing pistol there. Not much done, all in all, by the Aura side. Amanek just playing with his smoke. That flashbang was um, undoubtedly beautiful. And as it blinded up a few players, and Amanek just had a nice little time with that USP. Four kills for him, good start, and G2 just going to hope to build on that. You don't want to see Aura fighting back here in, in this sort of Glock round. That would just be... Uh, a little bit too much for my tiny heart to take, I'm afraid. Worst things have happened today already, Dan. I wouldn't worry. True. True. Very true. Don't worry. Don't worry. The Glocks are fine. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. So anyway, I'm not worrying. You're not worrying. No, no. one's worrying. It's all okay. Let's get into it. Aura with the Glocks. Probably not going to be making too many inroads onto the G2 side this round, at least. Nico cross-firing here with Amanek inside of middle. Easy frag onto Zen. No real worries there. Bob just checking out towards middle as well, but nobody home. Or at least nobody home at the way he's peeking on in. Nico's just going to get a good view of underpass before booting himself up on the bench, finding himself... Two quick frags now rotating over towards the A site to help out Jax. Or is it Nexa? I'm never too quite sure. It's Famas player anyway, and it was Nexa. And that's an easy round. It's an easy round win. Glocks don't really yeah. give them too much trouble, but now they're going to be up for a bit of trouble, Dan. They're going to bring out the AK, saving it early on, going for that slightly slower paced economic progress, not taking the force by in the second. I'm a big fan of that. I like getting AKs in the third because the CT side might not yet be ready for it. They're not going to be fully equipped, at least. They've got the MP9 still up. They're not going to have everybody with kits. They've not got M4s in every player either. Utility's good, but that's about it. Well, a chance for Aura to get around on the board, that's for sure. Because right now, just one kill to their name after a couple rounds. But there's Nexa Aggressive. He's gone all the way up towards top mid. I don't think Hype spotted this one out. He's not going to have any idea the Nexus on his left. If he does decide to push forward, it's going to be a dangerous one. As I think G2 will probably get themselves an opening kill. He's somewhat aware of potential behind top boxes, but yeah, he's just never checking this angle. Free beat for Nexa. Fires off as soon as the player peaks. Easy frag found. Hunter got one as well towards underpass, but his body's going to get sent into orbit there by Shine. Headshot comes through on the AK and he's looking for more as well. Nico's head, almost a prospect, but it's all but for nothing. Nico very quickly reacts, and now it's all up towards France, and a one versus four. AK in hand, this round done, I think. Unless franson has got a, a few tricks up his sleeve. It's going to be more than one trick, I'll tell you that. You know those... um. You know magicians when they have those handkerchiefs up their sleeve that just go infinitely? That's what yeah. Franzen needs right now. He needs that yeah. many tricks up his sleeve, and unfortunately, <laughs> he doesn't even manage to get the first handkerchief out. Just for those of you, by the way, in the Twitch chat, yes, this is LAN. I know it's yeah. weird, right? Feels weird to be here. But for Europe, yes, this uh, RMR event is at LAN. Um, I know it might not look like it because there's no player cams and stuff. That's just the C stream. Of course, over on the yeah. A stream, they'll have all of that because, you know, value. Um, but yeah, don't worry. This is LAN. These two teams are actually in Sweden at the moment. And they are having a grand old time, chilling in their hotel rooms and all that good stuff. But they're all together, and that's the main thing. So this is uh, this is uncharted territory, Dan. This is this is unfamiliar waters for the last eighteen months. This is only the second time we've been on land since then. And I'm loving every second of it. Here we go then. Into this round. It should be a nice easy one here for G2. Nico picking up his seventh frag of the game already. Nexa helping him out with his four. And this should be a pretty easy cleanup. They just need to make sure the bomb doesn't get planted because that would give over a little bit of money to Aura that they would like them not to have. Shine actually will get away with it, but the retake is already 95% of the way complete. And now 100% of the way complete. Just the bomb left to defuse and G2 will do that. 
no instances where they're going to be forgetting where the bomb's planted. Don't worry. It's on Mirage. It can only be in one of two places. Sorted. 4-0. Yeah, but as you mentioned, that bomb plant is actually going to help out Aura quite a bit here. You've got these AKs coming through now, the AWP for hype. We'll see if he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Amanek on that AWP for the G2 side. And obviously, it's not quite the level of we saw from, from like a Kenny S or, but Amanek's been pretty solid on that weapon, I will say. Yeah, I so, think uh, the, the thing is, right, so you have Nico, you have Nexa, mm -hmm. you have Hunter, got great aimers on rifle. Do you, do you really need an, a massive orper to take up some space in that as well? I feel like you just need somebody who's going to hold the angles and do his job, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need anything flashy. Yeah, exactly. Just takes Hype's up space. Taken. Yeah, it does. Hype's already taken a lot of damage, though. Down to 36 with his AWP. A little bit uncomfortable with that weapon now. He'll be hoping he can blast off a, an opponent sooner rather than later and get at least some value. Nice peek from Bob. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of an opening. Aura getting themselves into the groove now, potentially. As that's a bit of mid-control garnered, and G2 are actually just going to fall away from this. They respect the fact that Aura have now taken that control towards mid, and they know they can't really fight it with the smoke towards window. The molly's going through as well. And as they push up flat, it's going to be a split in towards his B site, a player towards the back site still, and one towards market. It's Jax that's going to be taking first contact, and he nails the first kill. Shine going to be playing no further part in this round. Hunter's still in position as well to provide that much-needed support. And now the round starts to fall apart for Aura. Branson tries his best, but it's only Zen who remains. He was on a bit of a flank, and he's being watched for by Amanek on his OWP. There's not much chance for him here with just 8 HP. Looks like G2 will be locking in a fifth. I mean, Zen's probably going to give this one a go with just over 20 seconds on the clock. But uh, Hunter can probably finish him off rather soon, especially now he's been spotted out as well. With that, Zen, he's just going to back off. AK is worth more than, than the sort of risk that this one posed. High risk, high reward, not the case here. It's just big, big risk. And absolutely no reward if Zen were to go for that risk, really. Taking those weapons out of the hands of G2 doesn't really change the fact that G2 are going to be purchasing up here anyway. Already big money starting to be earned up by G2 as well. I mean, if you look at Nico and Nexa, they are both very, very wealthy. Uh, hopefully this isn't a technical pause, but I have a feeling that it might just be for whatever reason. Hopefully it uh, doesn't last all that long. Yeah, it is indeed a tech. So. Uh-oh. Uh oh, <laughs> nobody likes a tech pause. Yeah. If it's, a, if it's better... online, though, hopefully that means that somebody can adjust it quickly. Often tech pauses online usually lasted much longer. I mean, we, we suffered a number of delays already once today. So the, uh, the, the fewer delays, the better. Pensive yeah, music done. What do you think I about know, pensive I was just music? Thinking. It's. it's... Makes me feel like we're, we're in a like 1614 tactical pause, not 16, 1514 tactical pause called situation. It's uh, but it's 5-0. It's 5-0 for G2, and they're yeah, probably going to be six in a second as well. It's not really that intense, is it? Really? I mean, Aura in their own right have been bringing okay things to the table so far. Getting that last round down to a two on one is decent. You know, it, it does it does something for the Aura's mm. mental boon. But you're against G2, man. Like, come on. How much are you really expecting to get in these rounds? Admittedly, every round is a blessing. Even for G2. I mean, yeah. haven't really been putting up the greatest performances lately, have they? Let's be frank about it. Um, they were part of a, an elite club in Pro League, shared by evil geniuses with a stand-in, shared by Bad News Bears. And uh, who was the other team who went 0-5? and five? Was it... Um... Um... Gosh, who in, was it? In Tropic, maybe? No, 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 they didn't go 0-5. No. They definitely did not go 0-5. I can't remember who it was. But anyway, there was another team. And you can just tell from that, by the way, it wasn't really a very fun event for G2. <laughs> um, but the, the Orgs make it a bounce back lately. They've found a few successes lately in a diff number of different other esports that we will not mention. It's Counter-Strike's Elite, and everybody loves it. It's like... um. 
It's like what, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the quote from, this is going to be a very off-kilter moment here, and this is where Twitch chat's going to be like, casters, just do casting, yeah? But I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, in Sebastian Vettel said that thing about, like, everybody's a Ferrari fan? I think everybody in esports is secretly, like, a Counter-Strike fan. Like, everyone's going to have watched Counter-Strike at some point. You know what I mean, Dan? Yeah, I guess so. I think we are going to head to a break, though, George. So Aww. I'm afraid you're going to have to put that thought in your back pocket. It seems like this is going to be a more prolonged tech pause. Hopefully, we can get it resolved rather soon, though, and uh, we'll head back into things. But stay tuned. Be back after a short break.
Yeah, they done told me to be myself, so when I went and found myself, oh, the ones who told me back then, be true to who I am, ain't think we was really gonna win, now they watching us from the sidelines, while we trying to victories like we in high tides, I'ma get my prize, only thing my eyes is locked in on, half a million mind mine, I want it right now, don't waste my time, family in a penthouse with a view sky high, blood, sweat, and tears bring more to my eyes, cause the whole gang winning, I done gave my life, odds low, but we did it, ain't we? We always moving, never on the same thing. Now our lives are highlight real. We like the thrill. This life's ideal. The hype is real. We know it. It's just the way we live. We own it. Cause that we love the thrill. We know it. It's just the way we live. We're grown up kids. Seems like I can't get away from the hot sun Always night and never day Even when I wash the floor, the dust still comes Keep on hunting for the bread No matter how lost Need no light, no spark I'm in light mode I, with my eyes closed See in the dark from a quiet storm
Welcome back. It is G2 up against the Aura side here. And after, uh, you know, a little bit of a short tech. Hey! A little sure. bit of a short tech. Yeah, I mean, five minutes, but in and out. <laughs> there we go. G2. Quick, um, quick 20 minute adventure. In and out. <laughs> yeah. Those, those last 30 minutes or so, all a figment of your imagination. We were here the entire, si the entire time as G2 looked to continue. Where they left off on that first uh, segment of the game, up 5-0. and uh, Or uh, they do have that gun buy coming through, though. They have their four AKs, or sorry, three AKs, and a couple of Galils in their arsenal. But it's going to be the B hit coming through once again, and Jack's looking to try and defend. He's fully blind. He doesn't need to see the opponent to take them down. But when he does see them, he's met with Franson. A quick kill from him, but it's Hunter towards the back of the site that's finding all of oh, the yeah. damage, all of the kills. Smooth and silky from Hunter. There we go. No need for that new PC feeling for Nico. Hunter's got it sorted. Yeah. By the way, that's uh, Hunter. By the way, Nico is his cousin. Just, oh, you know, yeah? Nico's... Just needed to mention that in case you didn't Hun know. H Hunter's cousin, Nico. Not Nico's cousin, yeah. Hunter. It's Hunter's cousin, Nico. Just got to be clear. I remember when that was a thing. I remember when he played on like that. What was it? Brazy roster with the four as the A, which yeah. was egregious as it was. But then it was always like, oh, yeah, yeah it's Nico's cousin. Now, it's, now we know the tables are turned. Out yeah. turntables. Anyway, <clears throat> it's been a while, Dan. Yeah. And uh, normal service has been resumed, and it looks like it's going to continue that way as Nexa just mops up too. Hype is able to quickly whip his head with the Deagles. That's the first frag for him on the scorecard. But I don't feel like it's going to be particularly long lived as Nico swings out of the palace finds a short-lived frag and an opportunity for another, but not before Armanex swings on in to clean up with the AWP. So, 7-0 start. G2 trying their best to make up for the uh, for the delay that they caused. And now cracking on with it. Bit of a whiff from Hunter's cousin there with the M4A1S, but yeah. going all round secured, not to worry too much. As, yeah, 7-0. I'm going to ask you this question, George. Do Aura pick up a round um, in this start? Difficult to say, uh, but on current form, it's hard to say anything other than no. 
Uh, okay. They haven't really made any inroads as of yet, but I am excited for the fact that Hype's now got the AWP out. That could be something that can change it a little bit. We'll see if you can get any opening jewels with that one before Hunter just swings on out wildly. Hype does manage to trade the frag back, though, with the AWP. I think this is going to be their best chance of picking up a round if they can use it effectively. Just try and, you know, bludgeon their way in. Brute Force, I think, would be the name of the game for Hype with that AWP. Just try and pick up a 4k or a 3k or something, give your teammates a winnable position, something like that, you know? Um, but for the time being, that's not really going to be the case. Everybody's just big chilling. Four versus four ensues, of course, and mostly over towards the B site now. Seems to be where Aura is going to try and wind on up. Over at that B site currently resides Armanek. He is going to be chilling over here with Jax in tandem. After taking the frag towards middle, Jax should have a lot on his plate here if he doesn't catch the wrong timing. He and Armanek are ready and waiting. I think Armanek's just keeping his eyes on short at the moment. But instead, Aura second-guessing themselves after losing that frag on Zen. They're just going to pull out of this one a little bit. They are. I think they, they feel like they need somebody to try and hit some mid-presence. With so little time left in the round, to be changing the strategy seems a bit... Alarming, if you ask me. Nico will swing out, though, and quickly relieve Shine of his head. Don't need that anymore, mate. You are not going to be doing any more thinking inside of this round. It's Franson next to four, you'd imagine, with Nexa pinching in from Connector, leaving Hype with this AWP all alone. His best bet would likely is not be to save it, but I fear he may still go and transgress into the A site for a greedy little bomb plant. If he can find this first shot, then he might be in with a chance, but unfortunately, he doesn't spot the shoulder of Nico, who will happily gobble him up. Eight nothing. Sort of going how we expected. Um, Hype finding a, at least a trade frag there in towards mid. It seemed like there might be something for Aura to work with in that one. But in the end, G2, some nice shots coming through. And it, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. It, do you know what this reminds me of, George? This reminds me of that phase over game in the uh, qualifiers. Yeah, it was, well, uh, where it was just a big old blowout, and it was on Mirage as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting big vibes from that match. But Aura this time have been able to uh, get a bit of space towards mid. This time no kill comes through from either side, but uh, they have managed to get a bit of control towards mid, and that's nice to see. Mid control is a really big part of Mirage, and if you're able to sort of get that control early on without having to expend too much utility or, or losing manpower, it can offer you up some, some options later on in the round. We'll see how Aura decide to use this one now as they think about boosting Franson up in towards the window, but he'll drop back. They're not actually going to go for it now. Next is going to catch him, but a quick trade. It still ends up with G2 in the man advantage, and as they push in towards the apartments, Jax is there, ready to execute them as he gets himself two and just bails out of the apartments as well. Now it's all up towards Bob. Bob XD. And he's X dead. G2 are transcending here, Dan. They might become G3 if they're not careful. Yeah. As they're actually finding a, a good old run around nine in Game a row now. Three. Game is three. Yeah. Yeah. Game is three. Uh, game is cubed. I don't know. Yeah. Um, You'd have something to change the logo lines. a little bit. I think it would still work. I'm sure they could make it work. That would be like a yeah. really good April Fools, by the way. You're welcome. Pay me later. Appreciate that one, G2 social media team. Anyway, uh, for G2 right now. <laughs> It's uh, just going to keep swimming, just keep swimming, like Dory says, as they can just keep plodding along, doing what they've been doing so far, and really have to change nothing, because Aura are yet to find an answer for them. A bit of jiggle peeking going on towards top middle, and Zen actually finding a very nice shot before being forced to back away. He is down to 2 HP, though, which means he's not really that healthy, and probably won't find himself having too much more of an impact on this round. Having said that, Bob XD. I still can't get over that, that name, by the way. I can't believe that's his name. XD. It's just unreal, <laughs> isn't it? It's just yeah. unreal. How unreasonable. Either He's way, I'm going to have to call it Bob. So just for the, just for the meme culture, you've got to love it. Right, Nico's surely yeah. going to see the head of Zen there, takes that one down. Overkill with the headshot being in just on 2 HP, but... Either way, if it's all you can see, it's all you'll take. And Franson now making his way into the site. Okay, lovely headshot onto Nico. Hunter with a lot of work to do. Is going to stand up to the plate and hit a nice 
ball off of that one. Finds another frag onto Hype. Just one more to find onto Franson, who's still fighting tooth and nail for this one. Molotov down on top of the bomb and is just caught with gravity taking control. Hunter will find the frag. Franson will fall. And it's 10 to 0. A little bit more of a costly round there for G2. Not quite as clean yeah. cut. Aura finally getting their teeth sunk into this one a little bit. Yeah, but you say it's a slightly more costly round. Then you look at the economy for G2 and you've got Hunter at $15,000, Amanek at 14000 Nico has 10000 Like, they aren't worried about losing players here. I think they could probably buy to the end of this round or, or the end of this half almost. A little bit of a gap in that smoke to play with for, for Nico. We'll see if he's able to spot anything out, but nobody's going to progress that way, so I guess not. towards the dark position he has that kill every single day of the week oh, yeah. Kamenek, even blinded up finding a kill here and the, they had the buy coming into this round george but unfortunately it's all going wrong again for the aura side as it's shine zen bob alone to try and find this in a three on five and oh nico spotted the gun brow there he'll pull that out does he expect bob as well doesn't matter if he expected him or not because he'll take him down nonetheless and now hunter wants a piece of the action but he'll get caught nice shot by zen and he does a little bit more damage towards nico as well still though a 2v4 and they need to get that bomb back it isn't in ct control but it's definitely not in their control either and it looks like zen will go back and try and collect that as shine is going to have a bit of a look in towards this b site and George, you know what the B stands for? It stands for beans. Beans, why? Because yeah. they've been spilled all beans, over. Right. Yeah. Beans are the perfect snack for going to the cinema. Just leave that <laughs> one with you. Um, baked beans, specifically. Uh, yeah. Either way, G2, uh, probably going to clean this one up as well. Zen in a one versus four attempts. Good for the first on Nico. A second head does rear itself, but one HP. Even less bullets in the gun now as he's now going to get taken down. Jax just runs him down. No necessity to do anything special or fancy. G2, I think one thing that a lot of teams can often kind of stumble into in uh, in games like these where you are heavy favorites is just not playing the way that you've practiced and just kind of treating it like a bit of a joke. Um, yeah. And as a result, you can get caught out a little bit and it takes a lot of time to readjust and refocus. So even with the big old technical delay that we've had in the middle of all of this, G2 have done well to refocus and to not lose focus overall. You know, they've still got the same tenacity that they brought into the early parts of this game, still firing on through now and already finding themselves a good opening to frags. This mid presence from G2 is just bullying at this point every single time they go out towards middle it's a victory for g2 shine finding two with his deagle though a third on the offering Ooh. big damage done towards nico down to just 24 hp but that he grenade will make sure that 24 hp is redundant now because it's just leapt up to bob big xds in the chat if he's able to yeah. clutch this round of course that's what we've got yeah. to aim for but uh, a one versus three against Jax, Amanek, and Nico doesn't feel all that likely as he barely even rounds the corner before Amanek relieves him of his duties. 12 nothing, George. I'm just thinking, um, for Aura, obviously, this is possibly the worst draw they could have had for this first round of matches. I will say that. Like, <laughs> this is... Possibly the worst it could it could get here in, in terms of just you, you're sort of opening gambit and, and the sort of morale you maybe take forward after a game like this. But you gotta know, you gotta understand it's G2. Like you'll you'll have these chances against the likes of like the Copenhagen Flames and Fun Plus Phoenix, maybe even Mouse Sports to some degree. You could potentially have some some close games there, maybe steal a win away from one of them. Um, so that's just what you got to look forward to. Don't let this first game dishearten you, at least the way it's going so far. As uh, they should get a decent running towards his A site here. Aura getting themselves a 5 on 5 post plant. They've got Franson on a big old flank as well. He might be able to catch Jax, and he will. That's a huge kill to find. Shine with another. Okay. This could be around. 
This could be around, George, for the aura side. Utility raining down on front, and that's going to make him feel very uncomfortable over there. He's no still way. finding a kill, though. He eventually burns out. And now it's Nico and Nexa to try and answer back. But Nico, two huge kills. And they know that Franson was over towards that B site. Or rather, that, that Zen was over towards that B site. Nico is now trying to push forward. There's no time for the defuse. He's just trying to make this as costly as possible. Of course, he gets it while jumping. Why wouldn't you? But it's all we're winning a round out. They get it done. On the board. Get the party poppers out. Let's go. Yeah. Keck 2 for G2 there. Mm -hmm. they, they kind of... I don't know. That was a, a bit of a strange way to let Aura get onto the site. Previously on the A site, Amonek's been over there with the AWP. They've had support from both Hunter and Nico, and they're not playing up through middle. And generally, the A site's been pretty impenetrable. It's been hard to just even break into it at the best of times. So now to be able to wander into the A site, find two frags like that, is a bit of a hard swing there from Aura. I don't think this time they're going to be given the same amount of liberties again as Nexa is keeping his eyes peeled towards both ramp and connector and we'll find the first frag onto hype. Nico rotating back into window just for a little bit extra security out towards that area. Unfortunately, Bob XD, who else? But to make you laugh, he's going to try and XD his way into the site now and unfortunately he gets excavated out of this round. A few more frags on the offering for Nexa. Finding his way to He's the... Farming. Okay, get the ace. Sexer, are we ready for it? Hunter around the corner. He's going to deny him. But either way, it's a lovely 4K for Nexa. Oh, well, we had, we, had, we had a good run, guys. <laughs> we had a good run, Aura. But, Aura uh, era, bro. I... It was there. Yeah. It lasted around. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I feel bad making jokes, but... Sometimes it's just Otherwise, how it I'd be. cry, I think. Yeah. yeah. But as I said, I mean, G2 is possibly the worst draw you could have. And I, and I do think it's a bit unfair. You can't judge him off just this one game. you got to yeah, wait and be... see how they perform against, like, the likes of, as I said, the Fun Plus Phoenix, the Copenhagen yeah, Flame. Yeah, yeah. See what they can do there, because I think there's opportunity for them to, to steal a map or two away. For sure. And... Next, uh, is going to be feeling the brunt of the assault again towards his A site. This time he's towards default just spotted out there they know he's now in this position he can't get a sneaky first frag he's gonna go for it anyway and gets the first zen even while blinded will trade out openings towards the a site found but nico is there to shut them down people kills from him looking for more through the gap in the smoke and that is just free low for nico and it's 14 to 1 at the end of the half we're gonna head to a short break george when we come back we'll see if aura can get anything going on the ct side
Well, the score looks a bit disappointing. 14 to 1. There's potential for this to get shut down very, very quickly with a pistol round from the G2 side. And, I mean, for Aura, we, we were just discussing during that, that little halftime break, George, about this Aura side and that actually their route into this position. And the teams they were able to beat, like, they took down LVLC. They took down the, the Saw side, the Portuguese team. And they had a pretty close series against Ents. So it's not like they've, they've had an easy run of things to get to this point. They've looked pretty solid in those qualifiers. And they had a bit of sort of joy around them in some in some regards. A lot of people saying that these guys could be legit. Uh, unfortunately, G2 is just a different beast right now. Yeah, they're a different kind of legit. That was legitness, dude. That, uh, was, either, that, was, that was legitness. Either way, G2 are... Uh, they are the creme de la creme at the moment in this game at the very least and they're looking to just finish this one up with a nice little pistol round it's usually a bit coin flippy in pistols but not for g2 today as they've taken the first three frags bob xd is down to just three hp leaving shine the only healthy player really as the a site is probably about to get swarmed bob is taken down in not too short a time as well leaving shine one versus five. If he pulls it off, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's probably not going to be pretty. Thankfully, he has not done so. And it is 15 to 1 for G2 Esports. So they've made it through. They've got to that match point time. You know what that means, though, Dan? The C in the C stream, it has stood for comeback all day. So yeah. um, Aura are going to win 19 to 15. And it's been on the CT sides that all these sort of comebacks have been happening. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Are we going to see 14 straight for Aura? It's, I mean, when you look at the weapons, probably not. Probably not. A few deagles for Aura. The CZ for Franson. Not looking like there's going to be all too much to say about this one as G2 probably find themselves 16 here. Nico probably able to get Shine. A nice little tap here. And he will. Not the tap, but uh, a clean headshot nonetheless. As there's the man advantage and probably the round to fall or, or fall in, in after as, as well. As you've just got these pistols hoping for a miracle. Do you believe in a miracle, George? I believe in miracles since you came along, you sexy thing. Yeah. Oh, naughty. Save that one for after the broadcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, dear. Nice shot from hype. Unfortunately, Nexus Galil, Jack's on his, oh, sorry, Nexus Mac 10, Jack's on his Galil. Oh, just too strong right now, and it's oh, all man. up to Zen. Looking like it's going to be 16 1. Nice shot comes through. Potential for more. Bomb not planted yet. Mac 10, let's go. Run it down through the smoke. Never mind, he's been sprayed through it. 16 to 1, the final score. At least it wasn't a 16 0.